who has control of the media in some ways, right? Who has control of the story and who legitimizes mm-hmm, it overall. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think then what we're seeing is kind of the power of the network trying to raise the profile and it's been effective at certain points, but the mainstream media is still critically important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like now the news doesn't even need to be legitimized by a media source, you know, like a news source, or mm-hmm. this is coming from the news or whatever. Uh, as long as, it seemingly, I mean, for better or for worse, if it's true or not, as long as there's a huge uh, social awareness about it, it seems to get out. And I think, I mean, in this case, it's po- it could be a positive thing because you don't need the main- mainstream media anymore to push your mm-hmm. sources, uh, to push your, um, your views. Mm-hmm. You just need a, a big following. It's, it's kind of scary, in a way, because I think of um, our relationship with media, a lot of it should be built on trust, and a lot of it is just built on the assumption that media is, is truthful. I think now that, you know, in our digital age, quote, unquote, um, that's becoming, coming more into question, but I still, I mean, even personally have started kind of prioritizing what media outlets I will visit and which ones. I, I will not visit because I'm not sure if they're if they're fair fair and balanced. So um, it's it's interesting to have this realization that you're you're doing I'm kind of doing that without any conscious effort.